It was former Montreal Mayor Gerald Tremblay's turn on Thursday to face the Charbonneau Commission into corruption and collusion. But unlike some previous witnesses, such as Tremblay's former right-hand man Frank Zampino and Union Montréal fundraiser Bernard Trépanier, Tremblay, who was mayor of Montreal for 11 years until he was pressured to give up his position, was ready and willing to get some things off his chest and clear the air about what he knew of the alleged wrongdoings during his tenure. Tremblay did take responsibility for the collusion that occurred at City Hall while he was mayor, saying, If I surrounded myself with people who betrayed me, I assume the responsibility. And I was never willfully blind. One attention-getting story Tremblay shared on his first day of testimony was of his former fundraiser Trepanier, claiming he was acting as a representative of the mayor, allegedly tried to extort $1 million from an Ontario company that wanted to open some businesses in Montreal in 2006. When Tremblay found this out, he said, he fired Trepanier. Two days later, he went to Montreal's chief of police at the time, Yvan Delorme, but was told, there was no criminal act committed, so there's nothing to investigate. The commission breaks for the weekend, and Tremblay will be back to face it Monday.